Okay, guys, once again, this messed up anime. This is Big Daddy Dragon. Now, we are here with Amber Nash, and she's going to tell us about Dad's Garage Theater Company. Mm. Amber, take it away. Okay, um, Dad's Garage is a theater in Inman Park, which is right next to Little Five Points, which more people know, Little Five Points in, in Atlanta. And we do improv uh, three nights a week, uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And we also do uh, scripted shows. And most of our scripted shows are written in-house by our comedians here, our improvisers here. Um, and those go year-round. Year-round, always we're here Thursday, Friday, Saturday nights. Um, we started uh, uh, 17 years ago. I think this is our 17th year. Uh, but a bunch of guys that went to FSU were improvising there, and they're like, hey, let's start a theater in Atlanta. So they moved here and, and opened Dad's Garage. And uh, we've got amazing things going on year-round. Our scripted shows are sometimes a, a little uh, improv-heavy also. So like every year we do um, Invasion Christmas Carol, and it's the story of Christmas Carol with Ebenezer Scrooge, but somebody shows up that doesn't belong there every night, and the improvisers, the actors have to deal with it. Um, so we, on our website, dadsgarage.com, it has all the information about all the shows that are going on. And there's something for everybody. Like we'll have, like right now we've got a show running called The Wrath of Khan, and it's about cons, uh, comic book conventions, and what kind of happens there, and what the hotel staff has to deal with, and it's a sketch comedy show. Um, and then we're doing a show later in the season that's kind of uh, a little bit about saving the universe and space and time travel, so there's kind of something for everybody. It sounds like it. It's absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. So how long have you been with the company? I have been with Dad's Garage, let's see, I first started in 97. I was um, doing a sketch show here called Free Parking, and I, uh, I'd never seen a show here, and I came in the back door, I'd never even seen the stage uh, until I walked out on the stage to do a sketch. And uh, I saw what they were doing here, and when we weren't doing our show, they were doing a show called Scandal that we run every year, and it's an improvised soap opera, and I just fell in love. I was like an improvised soap opera. Are you kidding me? So I saw every single show because every show builds on the last show. So I came every Friday and watched it and I fell in love with that. And uh, then I just stuck around and I bartended and I cleaned toilets and I did everything I could. I took classes and then eventually they, they let me be on stage. <laughs> see, I like that. I like, see, guys, if you're watching this, it's more about putting the work in and showing that you have passion for it. So that is absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. Uh, um, what are the classes like? Tell, tell us about that. The classes are great. Um, we start with level one, and anybody can sign up. It, you can be 15, you can be 85, it doesn't matter. Uh, and the great thing about level one is if you're afraid uh, or a little bit timid about doing a class, all the stuff is group work. So it's like you and 12 other people, and you all look crazy, and you're all having a good time. And then if you like that, you can move up to level two. And level two is storytelling based. So it's all about how to tell a story and how to make a narrative out of improv. And then level three works on character work. So you learn how to do bigger, different, better characters. And then level four is theater sports. And so theater sports is our Saturday night show. It's our flagship show. We're a theater sports theater. And it's basically a competitive format where two teams compete. And whoever wins is like the champion. Um, but it's really not that competitive, like we're all kind of working together. So in level four, you learn how to do theater sports, and then at the end you have a show, like a, a student show. Um, so a lot of people go up through the classes together and make friends for life. Like there's Sounds people, like it. Yeah, there's people that I was in class with that I'm still friends with. So it's super fun. And it's, it's for people that want to become improvisers, but it's also for people that like want to do better at speeches at their job or want to meet new people that are outside of their circle of friends. And it's just a wonderful time. So there's no championship belt or anything? No, no. See, I would have done that. I would have got, like, the whole WrestleMania poses and everything. Yeah, no. Is there anything else we need to know about Dad's Garage? Is there any fundraisers coming up or anything yeah. like that? Yeah, there is a big fundraiser coming up um, on the 31st, and it's called Bacon Fest, and we do it every year, so if you can't come this year, you can come next year. And it's basically so much bacon, and I'm a vegetarian, so it's cr it's crazy. Like, the whole neighborhood smells like bacon. Like, I'm trying to remember how many pounds... It was last year, like something incredible, like 500 pounds of bacon. Um, and then there's tons of beer, and there's bands, and we do like carnival games, and like you can you can throw water balloons at improvisers for a ticket, or you can uh, get your palm red. Or I really don't want to be in Valdosta <laughs> this weekend, but I love my girlfriend. I yeah. gotta go. It's really crazy. Like the stuff we do is just 
bonkers. And, and so it's a fundraiser, so you buy a ticket and you buy like carnival tickets so you can play different games. And nice. last year we had a dunk tank with improvisers in it. Um, so there's all kinds of fun stuff to do at Bacon Fest. That's fantastic. Yep. And people, I'm just going to point the camera at myself at this time because <laughs> I want them to see what I'm thinking. Um, bacon and beer. It's a good, good combination. It's it's good. True. Fantastic. Fantastic. Let me put that back there. Just want people to know yep. that I agree with the whole scenario. Mm -hmm. Can't get better than beer and bacon. Mm -mm. Real mm -hmm. cat. Oh, is there anything else you want to tell Messed Up Anime? Um, no, check out dadsgarage.com and see what's going on. There's so many amazing people that work here, and you can volunteer and see shows for free and kind of get to know everybody here and become part of the family, so that's super fun. And you can get a um, discount on your classes if you volunteer. Um, so just if you're into improv or funny people or just a real cool place to hang out, check it out. It's a super great place. You're fantastic. Thank you. Thank you.